behind that and see it. And I don't want you, you guys know really well, I want my intentions not to be flippant, but life is just such that we can't make everything disappear from everybody's view, you know. And, and I try to remind some of them that the alternative for this, this is this is zone for residential. You know, the alternative would and it's not going to be five hundred thousand dollar you know, McMansions that are ever going to go in here. If anything's going to go in here, it's going to be more of this modular home style. And I'm not faulting that, but I'm also, you know, trying to remind some of these owners that 50 small modulars bring a lot of inherent things that this doesn't bring, like, you know, all of them buy their kids four-wheelers when they only got a, an eight, they only got a quarter acre lot, but they buy their kid four-wheeler thinking that even use everybody else's property or run around on or dogs, or noise, or, so, you know, there's not a lot of other really better alternatives, and, you know, again, obviously, we take our criticisms that it's not going to do anything but, like, six jobs, uh, but, you know, the economics on this right now is such that this property here pays, um, right now, current, pay, with the ag value on it, pays $1,090, I think, or $1,190 this year, all, oh, school, county, town, Solar project, and if you took that and figured five percent a year over 25 years, the total tax income off this, for a property tax perspective, will be 56,000 and change. This alternatively will, right now, the pro forma shows for it to pay 50,000 the first year, and over the 25 years, will pay 2.6 million. So, no kids in school, no strain on the infrastructure. You know, some could say yes, and if the fire company, all the police. You know, not like any Walmart. We're not going to shop with this out here. Yeah, maybe the police will come. They're going to have their own security looking at this stuff. So it, it should more than offset. Um, and so that's where we're at. We're, we're starting to see for now. We've really kind of answered all four of the issues. Uh, I'm pretty pleased when the solar guys first came to me and they, they had, and I want to say they had the map. They had that by property. We didn't, you know, that, that should be very clear. Just that they're. Uh, yeah, and here's where the problem lies. With Enter, with, with, and I'm. Um, Unfortunately, I just got, I should say, unfortunately, I'm, I guess it's supposed to be fortunately. I just got put on uh, Congressman Gibson's uh, Energy Advisory Committee. You've probably have seen some press about that lately. He's got this committee. And I was asked to join because of my common sense, pragmatic sense. And one of the issues that we really have here with this solar power generation or alternative generation is distribution. You know, we don't have the power lines that just, we don't have the power lines that support new production where we have the need for new production. So, yeah, you can build all the solar you want in the Arizona desert. How do you know? Yeah, we're in New York. So, and then what other people don't realize, too, and, and we're trying to educate people on this, they're like, well, you should go over there like in a firmly and put it up in those state power lines. Well, you can't, you know, and, and, it's, and that would be, you know, it, it, it's, uh, that would be like trying to spit into a, you know, a, a sewer main versus a straw. I mean, it's it's an inversion to get you could get it up there, but by the end of the day, this 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 whole field might be down to producing one little joke by the time you beat it, beat it, you know, inverted it, inverted it, inverted it. It doesn't make it doesn't work. And as you know, every time we put an inverter, there's a lot of this heat. You know, there, we're not talking. You know, you're going to cook eggs on the cases, but there's you know that heat builds up. If heat is wasted energy. You know, that's a lot of loss of energy. So you've got to kind of get into these sub-distribution lines. This is a 39.5 kilovolt line. I think those big high tension ones are like 480s and 70s. They're 400 some. They're 700. They're 300 some. They're all different. Yeah. And, and so this is a 39.5. So that'll go down into Steel City down behind the. This, it, that's where it connects the two. It connects the uh, one that's um, over here by the school, and then it runs down to Steel City. And that's all that does is balance power out for this area. Between, you know, as you know, that turbine kicks in when we have a heavy draw, and then otherwise it's drawn from that distribution center that's down there. Um, there was only two spots in the county where there's a line like this. This one here that runs from Athens to here, and as you get further south, it gets real wet. You want more wetlands. Plus, as Frank knows, we've been working hard, and the IDA has been very much a part of this, to, to try to see conservation happen down in here, because there's much better grassland habitat. A lot more archaeology problems, wet, no water, no sewer, no nothing. And let's push the development up to it. We're a solar field. Let's put it up and get close to this prison as we can instead of pushing it way the heck out in the country someplace. So there really wasn't any, and, and quite honestly, with, with the wetlands and stuff, there really wasn't any other good spot between here and the bottom on this line. <clears throat> the only other one exists is on um, um, Lasher's Chicken Farm and, and up in this oh, yeah. And if you notice right there by their place is a substation, and yep. if you look at right. it, it goes right up over the mountains. 
and, and we told the guys, we said, you, there ain't no way to help. That's the best farm staff soil in Green County. Right. People are going to go up there and propose the soil. Like, we ain't having it. This one, we said, this is some of the crappiest farm soil in Green County. Yeah. There's been a lot of farmers lost their living on this land over the years. This one, we're happy to get a work from people with. So yeah, that's the prison right there. Oh, well, you got the prison yeah. there. And, and I guess it is. You know, we were laughing about it, but it, maybe it won't be funny again. This thing may actually trickle a little juice at night just from the just from the lost light that comes off of that. I mean, because it doesn't know just any solar or light light, you know? I mean, if you bring your little solar calculators out, they work off of a light or outside. It would be much. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the other thing I want to make a point, and just, you know, I'm just trying to think of things that we can criticize for. So it's amazing lately that it gives you a lot to talk about the point of criticism. Um, one of the things is saying, well, we're not going to, we're not going to, power won't be sold here. And my point to people is, great, you're, you should be lucky it's not going to be sold here. If you look at our electric bills right now, my, I didn't look in a couple, two months now, the last time I looked, my, forget all the rate rates, as I call them, that they add on to the bill, but look at the actual power bill itself. Six and a half cents when I looked at it two months ago. If you go to Central Hudson's website and look at the historical, that was the same price it was selling for in 1986. Weird. So